In this screencast, I'm going to walk you through some of the details related to Open Nebula's multi-cloud portability. And I'm going to do that by showing you how to migrate workloads between Google Cloud and AWS. So what you'll see is that I'm going to migrate an Nginx web server from an edge cluster that's initially running on Google Cloud to then move and have it running on AWS. All right, so here's a quick look at what we're going to be doing. The distributed cloud infrastructure in the demo consists of an Open Nebula front end running on premises on a core data center. And then there's two edge clusters, one that's running on Google Cloud in London and the other on AWS in Amsterdam. We're going to start the demo with a web server that's running on an Open Nebula Edge cluster provisioned on Google Compute Engine Cloud. The web server is accessed through a public IP address allocated from the Google Cloud pool. And for convenience, the DNS records are configured to access the server through this IP. We will migrate this web server to another Edge cluster provisioned in Amazon Web Services Cloud. And the first step is to decouple the web server from Google Resources. So we're going to detach any IP address from Google. And once that is done, we'll migrate the web server to AWS. The migration will move the server disks to the new location. So the state is going to be preserved throughout the entire process. And finally, when the web server arrives at the new location and it boots, we will attach a new IP from the Amazon pool. An Open Nebula hook is configured to automatically update the DNS records to point to the new location, and clients will still be able to access the service using the same domain name. Okay, so we're going to start with the demo by reviewing the environment that we've previously described. In Open Nebula's Fire Edge interface, we can see that there are two edge clusters. One of them runs Google Cloud Platform, the other AWS. Each edge cluster has allocated just one hypervisor node for the demo. Now, if we move to Open Nebula's Sunstone interface, we can take a look at the hypervisor nodes in the hosts section. All right, you'll see we have two nodes. The one with the ID zero is the one running on the Google Cloud Platform. And we can see how the IPs match in both places, right? And then the other node is the one that's running AWS. So we can also check that the IP addresses match as well. Okay. We have the web server running in the Google, Google Cloud Platform node, and you can see the consume capacity here. So if, if we go to the VMs instances tab, we can see the Ingenix server running in the Google Cloud Platform cluster. Okay. So we can open up a, a web browser now and we can take a look at the web server. So what you'll see here is the default Nginx web server homepage. You should take note that in order to access the web server, we're using this domain name and the 9080 port. So it's important to know that we need to use this port because Google Compute Engine network implementation assigns a port range to each VM. So the web server can be accessed through the node IP at a static port. And in our case, it's 9080. And the AWS network implementation exposes a full IP for each VM. So we're going to be able to access the server through this standard port. Okay, so now we can start with the migration process. The first thing we're going to need to do is to power off the web server here. Okay, so in Sunstone, I go here and I'm going to power it off. We'll wait just a few seconds. Okay. So now that's in the powered off state, we're going to remove the resources that are linked to the Google Cloud Platform so that we can go into the Network tab and just remove the network interface. Okay. So now that we've rem removed every resource that's pointing to the Google Cloud provider, we can migrate the web server to the AWS cluster. So we click on the migrate button and we select the AD AWS host. Now the VM is being migrated. This means that every VM disk is being moved from one host to the other. So we'll 
wait a few more seconds until it's finished. Okay, now the instance has been successfully migrated and all the resources are available in the AWS cluster. So we're going to now attach a new AWS network interface so that we can connect to the VM and then we'll restart the VM. As soon as the VM is restarted, the Open Nebula hook that we pr previously mentioned is going to take care of updating the DNS records so that we can keep using the same domain name for accessing the VM. Okay, so we can check that by opening a terminal and we'll ping the domain name. All right, so we can see it hasn't yet been updated as it keeps pointing to the old IP. It should point to the VM NIC IP here. All right, so we'll check it again. All right. Okay, so now it's been updated. We can see that it now points to the public IP of the VM. So now we're going to refresh the browser and remove the port as it's no longer necessary. And with that, we can now see that the server is now running in the AWS Edge cluster. So hopefully you've been able to see just how easy it is to migrate a VM within just a few minutes between Edge clusters that are running in different locations and on different cloud providers. It's key to understand that this procedure would be exactly the same for any other cloud provider. And that it'll also be the same if you're looking to migrate either to or from on-premises clusters in, in your core data center or on edge locations. So hopefully this is helpful. I look forward to seeing you next time.